Hello again, and welcome to another episode of Rue Ventures. I'm Don, and today, a new tow vehicle. What I wanted was the ideal scenario. I want to not only be safe, but I want to know that in the long run, I've got a vehicle that will uh, meet the demands that I place on it and uh, even exceed it. You probably want to be more prepared for going up and down hills and uh, being able to tow long distances without the engine overheating and uh, being able to have control over your, your uh, trailer um, and have that confidence that wherever you go, uh, you can go safely and uh, without causing undue wear and tear on the system. And lo and behold, I found what I thought was the perfect vehicle. Um, and it ended up being the vehicle that I purchased. It was a 2011 uh, GMC Yukon Denali XL. Um, it had the extra uh, cargo space for passengers and the extra cargo space in the back for uh, camping gear and uh, tools and, and whatever you want to put back there all undercover inside uh, so it was easily convertible between extra passenger third row space or extra uh, tools or, or luggage or, or what have you um, it had a lot of extra features that I didn't need but were nice that go along with the Denali so the next thing uh, that I needed to do was get it ready for towing and uh, that involved making sure that the uh, uh, hitch was solid and uh, that I could easily transfer my brake controller to it, um, that it would accommodate my uh, equalizer uh, weight distribution system, and uh, that it was uh, easy to hook up to the trailer. I have no doubt that it's going to be a very comfortable ride, a great vehicle to travel in, and a vehicle that will confidently tow the trailer wherever I want to take it. I'll show you here how I hook up and use the equalizer weight distribution system. Uh, it's a great system uh, if you don't have one and you're looking for something for sway control and weight distribution. This is definitely the way to go. Uh, it will stabilize your trailer. Um, you won't even feel like you're towing anything if you have a problem with uh, the trailer shifting back and forth a little bit or um, just you don't feel like you have the uh, uh, the control over your trailer uh, get one of these because uh, I highly recommend it you lower the jack down onto the ball uh, make sure that the lock uh, is secure in place around the ball so that uh, when the tow vehicle pulls, it will not detach from the trailer. Uh, there's a pin that will secure that in the lock position. You make sure that's engaged. Um, if it doesn't, if the lock uh, on the uh, hitch receiver doesn't engage, it means that the vehicle needs to be shifted just uh, maybe a quarter of an inch um, forward or backward. Uh, you can kind of feel underneath the uh, uh, hitch receiver um, which direction you need to go in. Uh, generally, it's uh, I, I end up uh, just getting in the car and turning the engine on and just shifting it into drive or reverse um, and just letting up off the brake and that's just enough to uh, push it or pull it uh, in the direction that it needs to go to engage the, uh, the lock on the hitch receiver. And there it goes. It is locked into place. You can hear the lock engage 
um, then you can actually um, make sure it's in the right position and put the pin through there to lock it in place so that it won't won't let go during the tow. Then the next step is to install the uh, bars. And there are two bars, uh, one on each side, which actually connect the hitch to the A-frame of the trailer. And they are held in there by a pin that locks. So you take the bar and uh, the way that you determine which side is which, because you're going to store them probably in your tow vehicle until you're ready to use them. Um, when you put them in and push them back into place, you should be able to see the label facing outward. And that's how you know that they're on the right side. There's only one side that has uh, a recess to uh, push into the uh, receiver.
Now the removal of the uh, sway control weight distribution system is just the reverse. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, raise the tongue jack back up parallel with the uh, hitch on the tow vehicle so that you can loosen up the, uh, the sway bars. Once they're loose enough, you can actually pull them right off uh, after you unlock the, uh, uh, the strap on the uh, A-frame and take those right off, um, unpin the sway bars from the hitch, remove those. and then lower the tongue jack back down all the way then you can unlock the hitch receiver from the hitch ball and raise it off of the hitch Then when you're setting up, uh, first thing you're going to want to do after you've unhitched is level your trailer. The first step in the leveling is the uh, front to back. You're going to do that with the uh, uh, tongue jack. You're going to put the level right on the A-frame and that's going to show you how far you need to raise the A-frame when you're uh, backing into your spot. You want to find a spot that's uh, uh, visually as level as possible and then this this should be your just your final step to uh, to get it as level as possible. Um, once you've uh, raised the uh, tongue jack to uh, a level position then you can see exactly how far above ground uh, that put the uh, uh, front of the trailer. Um, sometimes it's a lot higher in the front than the back or vice versa. Uh, so I, I, first I, I put down the uh, um, leveling jacks just to, if I can't eyeball it easily enough, this will give you an idea uh, of how far uh, you need to uh, build up underneath the leveling jacks. You don't want to open up the jacks uh, too far, 
uh, because then they'll be compromised. Um, if you open them up about halfway, that's about the best support you're going to get. Uh, so I pretty much lower them first and then uh, see approximately how much distance I'm going to need. Um, so it looks like I may need about three of the uh, leveling blocks for my driveway right here. Uh, so then you would just lift the jack, put them underneath, try to center them as best as possible, and lower the jack onto them snugly. You want to give a little bit of, uh, you want it to be a little tight so it's snug between uh, the blocks and they're not going to go anywhere. And that's going to be your uh, left and right side to side leveling. Then once you have your trailer perfectly leveled, then you're going to lower the steps and adjust those um, accordingly to make sure that your door is going to be able to close. So that's my new ride, my new tow vehicle, and I am on my way to my first test camping adventure. I will be testing out the main components of the camper. I'm going to test out the water, the plumbing system, uh, the uh, stove, uh, the Clients, any basically anything that I couldn't do in the driveway, something that I need to hook up to um, some sort of uh, uh, connection in the campground. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Wish me luck and join me for that adventure next. Thanks for watching.